bag of broken bottles. That's what Santa brought me. Ah, welcome back to Christmas week at Ballydung Manor with our special guest presenter. She knows where all the bad girls live. It's Santa's little lezer, oh. Anna Nolan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Come here, Anna. Oh. We were just talking yeah. there. What, what, what's the worst present that you ever got for Christmas? Yeah, what? It was definitely a scary, uh, a scary doll I got back a, in the 70s. A doll? Yeah. Dear. Scary doll. What are you talking? That's ridiculous. Pathetic. Scary, scary doll. doll. No, no. About? It was the creepiest doll ever made, and it had the creepiest ad in the world ever. I swear to God. Have I'm a look not at this. Doll. Come on now. What are you on here? Listen to Remco's baby laugh a lot. <laughs> You're listening to Baby laugh a lot. <laughs> she's the funniest doll you've ever seen. <laughs> Just push the button and she starts to giggle. <laughs> Get Baby laugh a lot by Remco. <laughs> oh, this thing possessed, insane. Jesus. Insane. It was like Barbie crossed with Chucky. It's so scary. God, just get a next guest out, okay. will you? Leave the feckin' lights on. Oh, don't, be don't, Jeez, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't here, will you? <laughs> They're scared. Okay, just last Christmas, she was a struggling student actress and a wannabe TV star. One year on, she's one of UK telly's hottest rising stars with an access all areas pass to all the hippest parties and an eight-page spread in FHM magazine. It's cover girl and MTV VJ, Laura Whitmore. <laughs> Where is she now? Where is she? Oh, oh no, 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 no. look at her now! Oh, how are you? Sit yourself down there in a minute. Good, how are you? Good, not Welcome, too bad, lovely Tom. Irish MTV diva Laura Whitmore. Great to be Whitmore. here, great to be here. Good, now listen, you're home for the Christmas. I'm right. home for the Christmas, I only came home today. It's for you. Ah, you're very good to come and visit Fantastic. Now, you're the only female VJ, as they call it, in, on the MTV UK and Ireland. The Ireland, you know, thrown on there just to keep the paddies from revolting. You have to keep us happy, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, how did you get from a kip like Bray to interviewing Kid Rock and Matt Damon? Bray's a nice place. What have you got against Bray? What? Bray? Bray? <laughs> Bray? <laughs> Uh, Bray's the holidays. Holidays. It's it's you the holidays, you know, huh? you got the beach. It might have been good in the holidays in 1809. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, you wouldn't go there if you value your life now. No, no. no comments. Come here, though. How did you get doing the job on the MTV from Bray? It's a bit of a blur, really, but it was around this time last year, um, I know that I was watching TV one night. I was kind of in a state of half awake, half not. Watching right. MTV, right. saw they were looking for a new VJ, applied, and then somehow managed to get in the final hundred. Went along and then somehow won. What was the show? It was called what? Pick Me MTV. 